It's here. Climate change is here. We all know it. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. We all feel it. Even those who say it's a hoax know it. And I think it's because they're afraid. I'm afraid. I notice things are changing. And I love the planet. I grew up in the woods, in the fields, and looking at the sky and the sun and the trees and loving even the woodchucks along with the deer and the rabbits and it was gorgeous and magical and mysterious. And I think so many people today don't go outdoors so they're not really connected to it. But when you are connected to it, you notice that things are changing. In Maine, for instance, I noticed that Summer times are longer by about a week, especially being a gardener. You notice that. I notice that winters are changing because there's less snow, and I hear we're going to have less snow, which is all terribly disturbing if you love this planet and realize it's a rock spinning in space, but for some reason it is full of life. And here we are, and we have ten fingers, ten toes, and we have a head to think with, and, oh, we've got to take care of our planet, or I'm afraid we're going to lose it. So, there's all kinds of things changing and seem to be going wrong, so what do we do about it? It seems to me one of the things we definitely have to do is analyze who we are, each one of us analyze ourselves, have a look at ourselves. So looking at myself, I think, oh, who are you, Jean Anne? Who are you really? Okay, you're a planet lover. You adore the people. You adore the land you live on and the coast you live next to. So um, who are you when you look at these things? Well, I discover, one, I'm an artist. I can't stop drawing and painting. Two, I'm a writer. I can't stop writing about it and thinking about it. So what I do knowing those two things about me and knowing about the problems of climate change and saying what can I possibly do about it, one is I paint. I have shows. I use acrylics. I paint on big sheets of masonite. And uh, I also, I, I not just paints, but I also put bar-relief sculpting on these paintings. So when you look at one, if you're 20 feet away, you see our planet swimming in space, but you come up closer and you see that that sculpting, because bar-relief is sculpting, it's a shallow sculpting, you look at it and you begin to see there's a whole story wrapped around the planet. And it's our dreams and the things we care about and our history and that sort of thing so that you get a whole other story surrounding the planet. Besides doing those two things that I can do, I'd better join a group that's thinking about climate change. So I've joined CCL, Citizens Climate Lobby, which is a great group of people who have been struggling for years and years to get a bill before Congress to wake Congress up down there in DC and say, look, we're in trouble. You've got to do something about it. You've got to lead. And we actually, CCL actually has a bill called HR 763 in the House and there will be one for the Senate and there are a number of other bills that have been submitted recently because people are waking up, which is a great sign.